Today, we need to talk about a channel named Della Vlogs. Della Vlogs is run by Bella and Dallin Lambert, a married couple that does all the typical family channel type of content like pranks, Q and A's, and vlogs. They have over 1.4 million subscribers and their channel really started to grow when they started to make videos about their struggles with fertility and ultimately their decision to adopt. When they suddenly stopped posting over a month ago, fans of their channel thought they were finally placed with a baby and were maybe a bit too busy to post. Well, they returned to their channel yesterday and it turns out everything was a scam. It's a mess, so let's get into it. For over a year now, Bella and Dellen have been documenting their struggles with infertility and their journey with IVF. They did three rounds of IVF and unfortunately, they were still unable to get pregnant and their viewers really felt for them. Their videos documenting their journey were getting a ton of views and they gained a whole new audience of people who shared the same struggles. They expressed in so many videos just how badly they wanted to become parents, so they ultimately made the decision to stop IVF and look into an adoption. Just over a month ago, they posted a video titled, We Are Adopting a Baby. They documented the whole process from the first call to the agency, getting their documents in order, the home visit, and their approval. They said they were still waiting to be placed with a baby, and this is where things started to get a little bit strange. At the end of the video, they put out a call for anyone who knew a lead on a baby, writing, If you know anyone looking to place a baby for adoption, please reach out. We can't wait to meet our future baby. And people felt like this public call out for leads on their channel might not be the best idea. They already did the process to be approved by a proper agency and people felt like they should do the entire process through the agency so everything is vetted and not be looking for babies through their platform. They have a lot of followers and you never know who's watching and what their intentions are. Not to mention the whole thing just felt really strange. I mean, you aren't looking for like a dog to adopt. This is a human baby and trying to seek that out on social media is a huge red flag. They did a lot of adoption related content, including a Q&A where they talked about specifically wanting to adopt a newborn baby, which also got them a lot of backlash. The next video they posted was them receiving confirmation of officially being adoption certified. They still weren't placed with a baby just yet, but they pretty much did the final approval step. They seem really excited and were already talking about doing a gender reveal once they find a baby to adopt. And then they just went silent. They haven't posted in over a month, which led a lot of their viewers to believe they were probably quickly placed with a baby and were too busy to post any updates. Well, the other day they returned to YouTube with a video titled, Twin Gender Reveal, plus matching with an expecting mom, plus bad news. The video starts off with them saying that they tried to put this update all in one video, but it was way too long. Which kind of confused me because the first video is only 10 minutes long and YouTube allows hours of content to be posted in one video. They go on to say that they connected with an expecting mother of twins. They show text messages they exchanged with the expecting mother, talking about how she felt like they would be a great fit and how she wanted to build a relationship with them and meet them in person. They showed them making the nursery and buying baby clothes and accessories. They did a whole baby announcement video with their family and even had a gender reveal. And that's where this video ends. And after a month long break, people in the comments were pretty upset about the videos being stretched out like this. People have been following their journey, and like I said, there's no such thing about the video being too long. 10 minutes isn't too long, and their fans were like, why are you doing this? Just don't understand why we have to be left with a cliffhanger. Hope everything is well with you guys. But people in the comments already had a gut feeling about what was to come, with some writing, don't get excited until your lawyer, caseworker, and documents are signed. Rule one of adopting, never celebrate until the papers are signed and everything is finalized. Bio mothers often change their mind. But this case doesn't sound like a situation where the bio mom changed her mind because the following day, they revealed that they were scammed. Since Bella and Dallin posted a call out for people to send them leads on adoption, that's exactly what people did. And I guess the one that sounded the most appealing to them ended up being a lie. An expecting mother reached out to them on Instagram and said she was pregnant with twins and was looking for someone to adopt them. Bella and Dallin agreed and they moved forward with the process without having this expecting mother go through their agency. 
Apparently, they tried to get her to go meet with the agency in person, but there was always an excuse or some reason why she couldn't. She expressed that she had PTSD and the pregnancy wasn't consensual, so they had understanding for her. She was sending them fake ultrasounds. When they met up in person, she had a bump. They were being encouraged by the expecting mother to already have a nursery set up and ready to go, and even encouraged to have a gender reveal. They showed a bunch of text messages between Bella and the expecting mother, where she would talk about all these appointments she was going to and keeping them updated on everything. In one message, she wrote, Okay, had my ultrasound this morning and everything. Everything on the ultrasound looks great. We got some strong girls growing, all healthy and measuring right where they should be. The doctor is super nice, but not the most supportive of a natural birth. Said she's not seen very many MO slash DI successful natural births. She said she strongly would recommend an epidural, and if either baby isn't in a good spot, she will not let me go natural. She said this would be the last week she would even let me fly, but warned me how uncomfortable it could be. And she said the biggest reason is because if anything happens, are you close to a hospital that is adequately prepared to handle the high-risk aspect? They even talked about whether or not they would want an open or closed adoption, with the expecting mother telling Bella she wants these babies to know that they were put up for adoption out of love and actually be able to know about her. They also said this girl would pretend like her mom was taking her phone and would text Bella extremely unsupportive and would almost try and plant a seed of like, my daughter needs money because I'm not giving her any. One of them reads, I'm kicking her out. How sad is it that you can't even go to Disneyland with her because you're hiding from the public? Having that memory for her to tell the girls about would be so special for her. She has so many childhood memories there. We aren't going to buy her maternity clothes and she only fits in like two outfits and she's a broke college student. A lot of red flags going on here, but Bella and Dallin wanted a baby so bad, they weren't really picking up on them and they just had the end goal of a baby in mind. They still wanted her to eventually meet with their agency, so everything was done properly, and eventually she actually did agree to go and meet with them. Our main goal while talking with her was to get her to meet with our agency. We knew once she would go in person and meet with our agency, then at that point it would become just a done deal. We had talked with our agency over the phone, we had talked with our adoption consultant, and she had actually, she had actually talked to our agency. She had over an hour Zoom call with a social worker at our agency. They went over the whole process of adoption. They went over different birth plans, all her different options that she has to meet with other families or to parent the kids. Little did we know she was kind of pushing off those appointments to meet in person, like something would always come up. But she did officially agree to go to one of those appointments and it was within the next couple days before we actually found out what happened. I'm sure in that moment, it probably gave them a ton of hope about this being real, but only a few days later before the appointment actually happened, they ended up finding out the whole thing was a scam. They received a message from someone who was trying to alert them that they were being scammed by this girl. The message says, I have information on blank that you really need to know. She sent these, saying this was the gender reveal of her babies, to several, and I mean several families, thinking they have a chance to adopt her twins. I'm in a group of hopeful adoptive parents, and we all have been talking with her, and she's telling everyone that they are the top of her list. Please hear us out. I'm so sorry she's playing you guys. She's talking to like 10 agencies. Please give us a chance to share our story. We don't want you guys to be swindled. Bella also got a DM on Instagram from this same person who said this scammer was doing this to all these other couples who were looking to adopt. She was even sending people pictures from their gender reveal party claiming Bella and Dallin were only her friends and they threw her this surprise party. In the Instagram message, she attached a bunch of photos and they were personal photos of mine and Dallin's from our gender reveal. And she basically said to us that this expecting mom is using your photos and sending them to other families and pretending like you guys are her friends and saying that we threw her a surprise gender reveal party. Well, luckily this girl who DM'd me she recognized us from the photos and was like, wait, that's Bella and Dallin. I have to talk to them because this woman and her husband were talking to this expecting mom at the same time as us. So we immediately got on the phone with her and started talking to her. And obviously we were just crushed to find out that 
she had been talking to this family for about two months. They said this other family also had a gender reveal for her, and the expecting mom even showed up to that gender reveal. So she was doing this to a lot of people, and these families wanted to find out if she was doing it to anyone else. One family posted on this adoption scam group on Facebook, asking if anyone else had a similar experience with this scammer, and tons of people replied and said they did. They said one of the families was sent pictures by this girl at some like rodeo event and they were sent a full body photo because she was telling this family she was only a few weeks along so obviously there would be no bump. Well, she sent Bella this exact same photo but she cropped her stomach portion out of it because of course there was no bump and she was supposed to be like 26 weeks along. At this point, she was unaware that they knew they were being scammed, so Dallin and Bella called her to confront her, and she claimed it was just an old photo, but that also isn't true. But I noticed in the photo, actually Bella noticed, that she was wearing the necklace that Bella gave her a week ago, and there was no way that was an old photo. Because, because when we saw her in person, she had a big bump, and I gave her this, and she had told me that she was 24. Four, 25 weeks pregnant. No, it's 26. 26 weeks pregnant. At that time. And so I told her over the phone, I said, hey, um, it's, this isn't an old photo actually because you're wearing the um, necklace that Bella gave you. And it got silent for a little bit. And then she said, oh, well, I'm sucking in. They ended up getting confirmation from her real mom that her daughter, in fact, was not pregnant. And they also found out the ultrasounds they were being sent were bought from a website. The pregnancy verification letter she had sent them was also fake and bought from a website, and the whole thing was a huge scam. The whole situation is crazy from start to finish, and I think this is just a huge warning to anyone looking into adoption not to seek out a baby on Instagram. There are so many people out there with bad intentions. I swear every day I see some story about scams involving babies and adoption, and that's why it's best to do things the proper way through an agency that's going to make sure everything is legit and the whole thing isn't just some big scam. I do feel bad that they were scammed this way, and I guess their judgment was clouded by excitement, but I don't know. To seek through Instagram is just such a strange thing, and if anything, I guess this is just a word of caution to people who were maybe looking to do the same thing. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.